Kia ora whanau, I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I'd do a video on my latest walk. I'm headed into Kaikoura. Kaikoura is on the east coast of the South Island in New Zealand. It's famous for having these beautiful mountains surrounding it and then being right on the Pacific Ocean. So the mountains kind of dive straight into the sea. Uh, it's also famous for its seafood, it's kaimoana. So Kaikoura effectively means a, a feed of crayfish or lobster because there's so much seafood in this area, the local iwi named it Kaikoura. Um, and the walk I'm going to do is Mount Fife. And Mount Fife is a reasonable sized mountain that overlooks the town of Kaikoura. Um, you can do the summit in a day, you can go up and back in a day. It takes about eight hours apparently. It's already a bit late in the day. It's taken me about two and a half hours to get to here from Christchurch where I live. Uh, and so I'm probably not going to do it in a day. There is a hut at about the two-thirds mark of the Mount Five hut. And for the princely sum of five dollars to the Department of Conservation, I get to stay in the hut tonight. Uh, it's a bit risky though because you can't make bookings with these sorts of huts. And so it is first come first serve. So hopefully I'll get there, get a bed for the night, uh, and then come back tomorrow. We'll see what conditions are like. It's a little bit of overcast today. Tomorrow is going to be a bit finer. Um, but if it's nice and clear, I will have a little rest at the hut, maybe have some dinner there, and then I'll do the summit tonight, see if I can get up for sunset tonight, uh, and then walk down to the hut and have a sleep there. Um, if it's not looking great, then I might just stay at the hut tonight and then see if I can do the summit in the morning and walk out tomorrow. So that's the plan anyway. This is the probably the most nervous I've been about a walk. I don't do a lot of hiking or tramping in New Zealand. Um, this is uh, probably a longer and steeper one that I've done. I've done Peak Hill and Lake Coleridge, which apparently is steeper, but not as long. And then I've done Black Hill Hut in the Mount Oxford area, which is longer, but not as steep the whole way. Uh, so this is kind of a little bit of a mix of all that sort of stuff. We'll see how we go anyway. So one thing I did forget to mention is that we've just gone through the summer solstice here in New Zealand about a week ago. So we're at the height of summer. There's been a cold snap recently and there was a little bit of snow warning up on the mountain. So I saw a bit of snow on the Southern Alps as I was driving in, which is to be expected, but I just saw some snow on some of the lower mountains as well. So I've come prepared. I've brought my winter gear. I've brought wet weather gear as well. I've got my thermals, I've got hats and all the other jazz that I might need. Uh, so always come prepared if you're going tramping or hiking in New Zealand. It's not that forgiving. I've also got some extra food, so make sure you're prepared if you're doing anything like that. So I made it to the lookout. That's the Kaikoura Peninsula, oh, Peninsula there. And that's about two or three kilometers up. And then that's the top of Mount Fife there. So I can definitely see some fresh snow up the top. So I'll just have to be super careful as a head up. Beautiful area though. See the river running that way the ocean and then the southern alps out that side so I spoke to someone on the way down and they said they saw one or two people at the hut but not too many most people are going up and down so it might be the space for me tonight and then I can do the summit tomorrow when there's less cloud and hopefully a little safer so I spoke to a couple of people on their way down and they said it's only another 30 minutes or so to the hut See definitely plenty of snow. So I'm pretty stoked to be honest. The sign just said it's about five minutes to the hut, Mount Fife hut, and I've been going just under two and a half hours. I was thinking with my heavy pack and because I'm not that fit, if I could do it in three and a half hours, I'd be very happy. So not far off now. The views are pretty spectacular. So you can see there's Mount Fife up there. And down there towards Kaikoura. We're on the seaward side at the moment. And there's the hut. Not a bad place to spend the night. So as you can probably see, it's cleared up a bit. So I thought I'd make the ascent to the summit tonight. See if I can get some photos from the top. Oh, look at those views. Still so much snow on those mountains there. Mount Fife is kind of up this way. And down to Kaikoura. That's where I started. So I am 
pretty much near the top. Just a few hundred meters to go. And it's all just about maintaining forward momentum at this point. But look at how much snow there is up here. It's still pretty warm. I've got my thermals with me just in case, but I'll get to the top and stop. Now I have a look around. I mean, there's the sun. Get over the ridge. There's sea level. So it's all started. staying at the top. Stayed long enough to take a few photos, take a quick dram of whiskey, and I think I should head back. The sun has still got at least an hour before it sets, just with the conditions. I don't want that to change rapidly. Yeah, anyway, thermals now, nice and warm, but there's a lot of thick snow up here. I don't know if you can really get the full scale of it. If anything goes down there, you can't get it back. I don't want to get stuck in the dark. Just keep heading back. But what an awesome adventure. I'm going to spend the night at the hut tonight. And then head down in the morning. It looks like it'll be a pretty straightforward walk down. Staying in the hut last night, they came up the Porphyry Valley in the route, which is quite steep. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to go back that way, but there might be a bit of water crossing and I'm not prepared for that, so I'll just head back the way I came, I think, nice and quick, and then drive home. So it's time to make my way down. Looks like it's the complete opposite of yesterday. There's a little bit of cloud there on Mount Fife, but most of it down there in Kaikoura. This side, a little bit clearer, but definitely that cloud is going through the valley. It's just amazing how quickly things can change, how wrong the forecast can be. The forecast was meant to be completely clear, and it's definitely clear up here, about the 1100 meter mark. That little hat of cloud on top of Fife is pretty cool. So I hope you've Enjoyed this little adventure up and down Mount Fife, spending the night at Mount Fife Hut. Not an easy trip in my mind, but definitely not an exhausting one to the point that I couldn't walk anymore. Some spectacular views still from here as I'm heading down. Probably take me an hour and a half or so to get down. Alright, so this is now just the steep descent down. 
It's actually looking a little bit scary. I can imagine if this is icy. Quite slippery. I'll slowly make my way down. Hopefully be at the car park within a couple of hours. Probably only an hour. Alright, car keep there north. If you want to see more of these sorts of videos, then just let me know. And next time I do a walk, I'll do another one. Alright, see ya.